Hey guys, it's your friend John here, asking for some help from my viewers and from my subscribers. But before I begin, I just want to say this. You do not have to help me in any way whatsoever if you choose not to. This is only for those that wish to help me by their own free choice. So, now I'm going to tell you what I need help with. A while back, I bought a new camera. I bought this camera right here so I can get better quality on my recording and my video making. I want my video to be really, really good for my viewers. So I bought this camera right here. And well, when I was using this camera, this quality of this camera is really, really bad. Uh, here, take a look at the quality of this video. Hey guys, it's John from the 90s. Wow, the 90s. Look at this camera quality. It's so great. It's the 90s technology. It's great. Wow, Jurassic Park, Ring Pops, Hey Arnold, The Plumage Prowler. Oh man, all things from the 90s are great, yo. This camera quality sucks. I can't believe this is a new camera. I can't believe I spent $130 for this. What a ripoff. You can see the quality is very bad on that camera. And I spent a lot of money on that camera, about $130. And I'm looking to buy a new camera and, well... Good cameras are kind of expensive. They can be as low as $500 to up to $1,000. That's a lot of money. That's almost one That's almost one month worth of pay when I do my work at a factory. And I might have to buy the camera myself. I'm not really sure, but I'm kind of hoping uh, I can get some form of support or help from my viewers. So I'm hoping as time goes by, people watch it and maybe they make donations or... They send me information on which, good, which is a good camera to get because I want to get a good camera so I can make better videos for my viewers. And the camera I use right now is my iPad camera. It's about, I believe my iPad is five years old, so the camera is a little dated. And I know there are going to be some people that say, well, just use your phone camera. And I did a test video using my phone camera. Keep in mind, I might upload a test video, test video number two. I'm kind of mixed about uh, uploading a test video number two, but maybe later on I'll upload a test video number two. And I'll let you guys see how the camera quality looks on this compared to my iPad. But I did record on my phone right here. This is a brand new phone. I think it's an Android. And the quality of it is not that good. It's kind of mixed. I kind of like my iPad a little bit more. But, uh, but the reason why is I want to get a better camera, sharper imaging, better sound quality, that type of stuff, so you guys can get the best video that I can make for you. For those that are wondering, how can I donate money and help get this new camera? All you gotta do is go on my YouTube and you'll see a thing that says donate right there. You can only see the donate when you're on a computer. You can't really see it if you're on an iPad or a smartphone. You have to actually go under the about and if you go under the about, you'll also see donate. And you'll also see a GoFundMe. I created a GoFundMe and I also created a donate that's linked to my PayPal. The donate goes straight into my PayPal and if you are to donate anything, I prefer it in my PayPal than in the, um, the GoFundMe. There's also another way I can get money from my viewers that wish to help me out. You can go to my eBay store and I do buy and sell. I go to garage sales, estate sales, I buy things and I resell them. So if you buy anything from my eBay, that money will also go into being put into a new camera. And for anyone that does decide to make any form of donation, any generous donation will get a shout out on my build video when I get the new camera. And this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look something similar to this. Now, it doesn't have to be Reddit or Instagram. It can just be a personal name. But if you do make any donation that's generous or any donation that I think is generous, I, which I have no idea what that could be. I have no idea how this is going to work out. I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of money from from my viewers or if I'm going to get nothing. So this is all very new. This is actually the first time I'm asking for any form of donations on YouTube. So this could either work out great or I could get absolutely nothing. I have no idea. So I don't know what a generous donation would be, but anyone that does any form of generous donations, send me a message, whether it's on Reddit or Instagram. Let me know how much you donated and when you donated so I can look up the day that you did donate and I can see how much you did. Let me know what your username is and let me know what that name is connected to. Let me know if that's a Reddit name or a YouTube name. It could be Facebook. It could be a personal name. Just make sure that if you do send me a name, the name is appropriate. I've seen some of your guys' names and some of your names are quite inappropriate. So just make sure the name is appropriate and not inappropriate because I cannot use an inappropriate name. And if you do send me a message, make sure I get the message. Make sure I respond. Say, hey, John, I donated... $20 on this day. This is the name I want you to put in 
And well, once I get everything set up, I'm gonna have a list of the name that help that help me get this camera. And if I get a lot of generous donations, I'll do more than one list. Like if I get a lot of help, what I'll do is in one build video, I'll have a set of the first names that helped out. You'll see a list of the first people that helped out. And then after that, in another build video, I'll give another shout out to another list of people that also helped out. So anyone that makes a generous donation that wishes their name to be on my video, do not worry. Your name will be on there. Just make sure you send me a message and just make sure I get the message. And for anyone that just wants to donate money and not have their name put on that list or get any form of shout out, that's okay. You can just donate money and send me a message letting me know that you don't want your name being put up. Or you can just donate money and send me no message. Either way is fine. One more thing. If you are sending money and if you're having any form of issue sending it, please let me know and maybe I can help fix it. Another thing, I'm not really great with cameras or technology, so if you have any information on what is a good camera to get, also let me know what's a good camera to have, what's a good company, what's a good setup, what should I buy. If you have any information on that, you can also let me know down in the comments so I can know which camera I can get once I have all the money that I, that, that I need to get. Or who knows, maybe as time goes by, even if I get no donation, I might just go to the store and buy the camera myself, even if the even if I have to pay for all of it myself, I'll do it if I have to. I kind of don't want to because some of these cameras can be up to $600, $700, $800. But if I have to pay for all of it, then I'll pay for all of it. Kind of don't want to. And finally, for anyone that wishes to help me out but doesn't really have the money, which I can totally understand. I understand the times that we're in and some people might not have that much extra money laying around, but they still want to help out. A good way of helping out that's completely free is liking my videos, not just this video, but all my other videos, sharing this video right here so other people can be aware, and sharing my other videos as well, and commenting. So doing those things, liking, commenting, sharing, those things are completely free and they really do help me out. And if you really want to help me out, but you just don't have any extra money, you can do those three things as well. Or if you do have the extra money, you can do all four. You can make a donation, whether it be generous or a small donation, it's up to you. Then you can like and comment and share. It's up to you what you want to do and how you want to help out, if you choose to help out. Again, you do not have to help if you do not want to. You can just watch my videos and do absolutely nothing. That is completely fine. So I want to wrap things up by saying thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this video gives you an idea of where I'm at and what I'm trying to do with my channel. I want my channel to be as best as I can for you, the viewer, and if I do get more money than what I'm expecting, let's just say I have enough money to buy the camera, the extra money I'll just use to buy better tools because tools do break every once in a while. Every now and then I'll break a drill bit and I have to buy a replacement for it, so the money will also go towards buying new tools. The, the money's not going to go to waste. I'm not going to go and buy a bunch of hamburgers and eat them all. No, I'm actually going to use the money to better my channel, so anyone that does help out, they will be benefiting from this because better camera quality, better tools, I'll be able to do more things. You never know, if I get enough money, I might be able to work less hours because I work 40 hours a week, not counting YouTube. YouTube is another 20 hours a week, so if you kind of think about it, I work about 60 hours, 40 hours a week at my regular job, another 20 hours, so 60 hours combined, it's a lot on me. So if I do get a lot of extra money, I could just work less hours and focus more on YouTube. But again, it all depends how this works out. I have no idea how this is going to roll out in the end. It could be very successful. It could be a complete disaster. I'm kind of just, it's kind of just wishful thinking at this point. So thank you for watching and please make sure you contact me if you make any form of generous donation so I can be sure to put your name or a list of names in my next build video when I get a new camera. Thank you.